I think that like nearly everyone who has been staying home because of the pandemic, I have felt both the anxiety and cabin fever, as it's called, and I've also felt grateful. It can feel heavy with longing, and heavy with longing, in my mind, is preferable to hollow, which one also feels. Uh, if I'm heavy with longing, at least I have some idea of what I want. Every day we take a walk uh, with masks. Gradually, more and more of the people we see have masks. Um, we'll beam and wave at one another sometime, call hello to kids in a stroller or little babies. And we did take a walk in the beautiful Mount Auburn Cemetery. We saw an American elm. The natural beauty of the cemetery is something we miss. They had to close it. Too many people were using it, I guess. Uh, so now it's the beauty of uh, neighborhoods which, as I try to show in the poem, uh, can be quite moving to me in a different way from the beautiful landscape of the cemetery, but also beautiful. House Hour is my, in a way it's my love poem to the kind of lower middle class or working class neighborhood that I grew up in. At the time that I wrote the poem, my wife and I were deciding whether to stay in Boston, where I had a new job, or to go back to beautiful Berkeley, California in the Bay Area. And we were driving in, it might have been Watertown, Mass., or Somerville, Mass., triple deckers, artificial brick siding, corner stores, and it was probably February or early March. And in a characteristic kind of joke, I said to Ellen, you know, this kind of neighborhood, for me, it's like Wordsworth looking at a lake or a mountain. Um, I know what it's like here. Nostalgia rich, comical and melancholy setting and houses in a kind of immigrant neighborhood in a semi-urban or urban setting. It's among the most moving things I can look at. And I realized I didn't want to go back to Berkeley. I wanted to be here where I'd be reminded of the New Jersey of my childhood. The poem tries to express that feeling. House hour. Now the pale honey of a kitchen light burns in an upstairs window, the sash across. Milky daylight moon, sky scored by phone lines, houses in rows, patient as cows. Dormers and gables of an immigrant street in a small city, the wind worn afternoon shading into night. Hundreds of times before, I have felt it in some district of shingle and downspout at just this hour. The renter walking home from the bus, carrying a crisp bag. Maybe a store visible at the corner, neon at dusk, macaroni mist on the glass. Unwill seductive as music, brief as dusk itself, the forgotten mirror brushed for dozens of years by the same gray light, the same shadows of soffit and beam end, a reef of old snow glowing along the walk. If I am hollow, or if I am heavy with longing, the same, the same ponderous houses of siding, fur framing, horsehair plaster, fired bricks, in a certain light changing nothing but touching those separate hours of the past, and now at this one time of day touching this one, 
last spokes of light silvering the attic dust.